Uh, hey everyone, this is Omar Akhand. Welcome all of you to my channel. So here I am with a few questions from previously asked to be as the scientific officer examination. So I have already uploaded the first part of this be as the scientific officer examination, uh, which are conducted in two phases in 2021. And here I am with a few questions. So let's have a discussion on the questions. Uh, so the first question I have taken from solid state physics, and the question is all about the energy of a phonon uh, and the order of the energy of the phonon. So this is a very fine question. So the, what is the energy order of a phonon? So you know generally energy is equal to h square omega equal to kV theta d and this theta d is nothing but the d by temperature. So this is the d by temperature and d by temperature in room is equal to nothing but the general, generally 27 degree uh, centigrade. So it will be in uh, Kelvin like 300 uh, Kelvin. So you have to put KBA uh, Boltzmann constant value like 1.38 10 to the power minus 23 and this is 300 and you have to divide it by 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 in order to have in the electron board. So finally you can calculate this quantity and you will get the energy order of this phenomenon. Okay. So this is the approach you have to take in order to solve this question. So this is a question in part uh, in step 2. Okay. So the next question I have taken from quantum mechanics. The question is all about the expectation value of e square. So you know the wave function here is given as k into k minus model. So here I am showing the approach. You please try it on yourself. So generally the psi will be k into k plus x for x less than 0. Because you know the definition of mod x is nothing but the minus x for x less than 0 and it is plus x for x greater than 0. So depending upon the definition of mod x, the wave function will be two types behaving in positive x and negative x. So it will be a minus x for x greater than 0. So now you know uh, p is equal to minus i h squared by uh, i h uh, minus i h squared del by del x. So you have to take p square. So it will be minus h square into d square by dh square. So from the definition of expectation value, uh, you can find p square expectation as minus infinite to plus infinite psi p square psi dx. Okay. Uh, so here you can uh, make this integration into two parts, like minus infinite to zero plus zero to infinite. And this uh, for this minus infinite to zero, that is minus x region, you have to put this uh, wave function. And in this positive 0 to infinite uh, region, you have to put this wave function. Then you can to then uh, take the general derivative with p square like a p square. Then you can find the answer. Okay. So this is the approach. This selection of wave function in uh, plus region and minus region is important. So then this is a question from two dimensions uh, cubic box, in particularly in an infinite cubic box. The length is L. And the energy is 14 h square square pi square by 2 ml square. So the total energy is given as 14 h square square pi square by 2 ml square. So you know for a cubic box in three dimensional. So its energy is equal to nx square plus ny square plus nz square h square square pi square by 2 ml square. So this factor get cancelled. So you will have nx square plus ny square plus nz square is equal to 14. So now you have this quantity. Three. So how many combination you play? So you can take nx as 3, ny as 2 and nz as 1. So it will be 9 plus 4 plus 1. So it will be 14. So you can combine in different way. Like you can take nx as 2 and ny as 3 and nz as 1. So different combination is there. So what will the final wave function? So whenever we are writing a uh, wave function in three dimension, you have to multiply the wave function of each coordinate that is psi x, psi y and psi z. So finally, so finally, uh, you will have a wave function like, you will have a wave function like psi will be uh, 8 by l q root over sin n x pi x by l, n x pi x by l into just a second uh, into sin ny pi y by l sin nz pi z by l uh, s 
डिपेंडिंग अपन द गिवेन ऑप्शन यू हाव टू मैच विच इज करेक्ट बट यू कैन टेक एन एक्स थ्री एन वाई टू एन एन जेड वन और यू कैन टेक एन एक्स आर्स टू एन वाई आर्स थ्री एन एन जेड वन डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशन सो सिक्स कॉम्बिनेशन आर देयर सो एज पर आई रिमेम्बर देर इज ऑप्शन लाइक एन एस आई एट बाई एल रूट एट बाई एल क्यू रूट ऑफ साइन थ्री पाई एक्स बाई एल साइन टू पाई वाई बाई एल एंड साइन पाई वन पाई जे बाई एल सो दिस विल बी करेक्ट आंसर आई थिंक यू गॉट द पॉइंट वट आई हैव वन टू टक यू लाइक यू हैव दिस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एन एक्स एन वाई एन एन जेड सो द वे फंक्शन विल भी इन दिस फॉर्म सो डिपेंडिंग अपन द अवेलेबल ऑप्शन यू कैन चेक विच इज करेक्ट ओके देर आर सिक्स कॉम्बिनेशन ओके ऑफ एन एक्स एन वाई एन एन जेड ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स दैट इज फ्रॉम पार्टिकल फिजिक्स सो हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पार्टिकल कैन इंटरक्ट विथ इट सेल्फ सो यू नो हिग्स बोजन कैन इंटरक्ट विथ इट सेल्फ सो आई थिंक बोजन विल द बेस्ट एंड करेक्ट आंसर सो बोजन सो सिंस बोजन इज जेड बोजन इज रोजन सो जेड बोजन विल द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन हिग्स बोजन ऑलवेज इंटरक्ट विथ इट सेल्फ प्लीज रिमेम्बर सो जेड बोजन विल बी करेक्ट आंसर Uh, then this is a very finest question I have ever seen in uh, VRC examination uh, from two thousand twenty twenty two two thousand twenty one. This question get uh, repeated in different way, so I will share both the question. So here is a question from nil temperature. If nil temperature, the question is stating that if nil temperature is one thousand Kelvin, so solution will be like the nil temperature T n is given one thousand Kelvin. Okay, so this is a very nice question. Please observe it carefully. Uh, so now for a antiferromagnetic material because in nil temperature is the temperature where antiferromagnetic material is converted to paramagnetic material at the nil temperature so like a curie temperature what happens so ferromagnetic material is converted to paramagnetic material so similarly the antiferromagnetic material at nil temperature will convert to a paramagnetic material okay so at antiferromagnetic material temperature is lower down from uh, 1400 to 1200 kelvin so the temperature now uh, was 1400 kelvin so what it is get lower to 1200 kelvin so how the susceptibility will be change i think question is clear uh, nil temperature is given uh, first temperature was 1400 kelvin now the temperature is lower down to 1200 kelvin so how susceptibility is change You know susceptibility in case of nil temperature is given by T by T plus T n. This is very important. Okay, susceptibility is equal to T by T plus T n. This is constant, and T is the temperature. T n is the nil temperature. So if you have to take in J one by J two, that is susceptibility with this ratio, it will be T two plus T n because you will be get cancelled whenever you are taking ratio uh, by T one plus T n. Okay, this is very easy. Then you have to put this T two here, T one here, and T n in both the place. Finally, you get the ratio of J one to J two. Okay, this is the question which is asked in the year of two thousand twenty 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 one in mind shift in far shift question was that. But in case of two in twenty twenty two, there is a similar type question, but it was not for antiferromagnetic and not for nil temperature. This is for ferromagnetic metal and it was a Curie temperature. so how you can find this ratio of susceptibility so there you have to use so there you have to use the curie temperature formula that is that is j is equal to c by t plus tc okay this is the susceptibility this is c constant this is the temperature and this is the curie temperature this is the uh, sorry i have make a huge mistake so this is t minus tc Okay, this is the important thing. This is the formula for the nil temperature that is J is equal to C plus by T plus T n, and this is uh, J that is C by T minus T C. Okay, so this is the basic difference between the Curie law and the nil temperature. Move to the next question. Uh, this is a question from classical mechanics, and this is very traditional, and you can say easy question. You can do it very easily. The potential V x is given as x into x minus two whole square. Then you have to find the time period at equal two second. So uh, now you have to find the equilibrium position at equilibrium force is equal to zero. So take the derivative of this potential V x by d V by d x equal to zero. Uh, you will get uh, two different uh, different equilibrium position x one and x two. So now uh, you have to. So you have to. 
uh, find the spring constant k is equal to del square b by dx square at equilibrium position okay so now we will find omega is equal to k by m root over i think this is not uh, at a uh, uh, x equal to 2 i think or second uh, equilibrium position at 2 so omega equal to k by m root over now you replace this omega as 2 pi by t equal to k by m root over so you will find t equal to 2 a pi into m by k root over so from here you can find the time period but the approach is like first uh, potential is given so at equilibrium so at equilibrium a force equal to 0 so force is negative gradient of this potential minus dv by dx of this quantity make it 0 you find two dif uh, different equilibrium position because the quadratic equation is there so at the equilibrium position x equal to 2 uh, find the second derivative of this potential at x equal to 2 then you have to find omega as k by m root over then uh, replace omega as 2 pi by t then find the time period so this is very important question and finally uh, this is a quantum mechanic question and uh, this is from two dimensional quantum harmonic oscillator so the potential is given like half m omega square x square plus 9 y square very nice question half m omega square x square half m 3 omega whole square y square so here i can say this that is omega x equal to omega and omega y is equal to 3 omega so finally uh, you can write the energy that is two in two dimensional energy nx nx and ny it will be nx plus 1 by 2 x square to omega plus ny plus 1 by 2 3 x square to omega this is the total energy of my two dimensional system but the question is asked about second excited state so for the second excited state so for the second excited state actually student uh, make mistake in this step so in second excited state of two dimensional quantum harmonic oscillator so the ground state is 0 0 excited state is first excited state is 0 1 and the second excited state is 1 0 okay so this is ground state this is first excited state and this is second excited state so for e o e 1 0 so energy 1 0 will be put nx as 1 so it will be 3 by 2 h cot omega and ny equal to 0 so it will be 3 by 2 h cot omega because 3 h cot omega is already there so ny is 0 so it will half into 3 h cot uh, h cot omega so it will be 3 by 2 h cot omega so finally it will be 3 h cot omega so this is the answer to the question okay so thank you so much for watching my video uh, so in this session i have discussed uh, many question uh, which are asked regularly previously so in the upcoming video i will share more number of question so hope uh, you stay with, with my channel thank you for your support thank you for watching my video so if you like my video so please like it share it and subscribe my channel thank you so much